All right, all right guys, welcome in and welcome back. Couples therapy. You ever been in a relationship? I know some of you. Comment down below. Have you ever had to do couples therapy? Not anything to be ashamed of, not anything to feel bad about, but have you ever had to do it? You know, sometimes people need couples therapy for the very reason because maybe they don't understand what they should be doing in a relationship. They don't have they don't have the tools. Their examples and what they seen as far as like how to be in a positive relationship are far and few. They don't really know how to, you know, navigate those waters. So sometimes a therapist, when you have a good one, can be a great tool in order to help people who want to be better in a relationship and don't really know how because maybe they don't have the experience or even with that experience, they still want to just figure out, is there anything they could be doing better? But this is interesting because I came across this clip and there's this woman who she's a therapist and she's speaking about how she had to train herself to not believe women. Let's go ahead and check it out. I have been trained, <laughs> very strongly trained by my mentor to never believe a woman's story in her marriage. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have gotten sucked into a woman's story because we are, are so convincing, we are so manipulative, we know how to dramatize and, and exaggerate the circumstances and experiences in the marriage to suck someone in, to feel sorry for us, to validate us in our victim story, and have, have even really no awareness to question that story from a woman and, and try to understand, well, what what would the the husband say or what what's his experience though what's his side of the story and we bring that into therapy so i like i said i can't tell you how many times over 10 years that i got sucked into a woman's story and my mentor had to help me break through my cognitive dissonance and get back to the fundamental truth that i know i've gotten so much better it's very rare that that happens now but it can still happen because we are so convincing. It was, it's just like, it would almost be blasphemy to not believe some of the things a woman says. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You have to, that's terrible. Maybe he's not a good man. We are so convincing. And I've also had the pleasure over the years where I've worked with a woman. She has a, a strong story of her husband and how he can be aggressive or controlling and a narcissist and she paints this story and that I've had the pleasure to actually meet her husband because she's tried to you know we, we always want our husbands to change so it's interesting women will convince their husbands to, to take my men's course which is interesting because of what I teach men in that course which is about all our woman ways and how men have to take their power back but I, I've met these husbands and it's I meet them and it's like oh my gosh I can't believe she has has the story of this man because they're they're the typical good man just loves their wife is caring is confused about how they are always wrong and can't be right and when I meet the husband it doesn't add up at all with the woman's story of him so therapists are not trained to break through the stories of a woman and because they're already biased they already have that gender bias to believe and take on the perceptions of the woman and have that prejudice towards men, they get sucked in. And, and here's the thing, is that the very same tactics we use as women in a marriage to manipulate our husbands and brainwash them to believe they are the problem are the same manipulative tactics that we use to draw a therapist into our story and get the therapist on our side. We're using the same tactics and then the therapist gets brainwashed into believing the man is the problem. I've had several female clients over the years who very quickly trusted me because I didn't buy into their stories and I called them out on it. I have one client in particular, I will never forget my first conversation with her. She reached out to me. She had this big story about her husband. He never pays me any attention. He doesn't validate me. Um, 
he he doesn't even compliment me ever. I don't, he never even says I love you. And she had this whole story, but she was also sharing, you know, but I know I have these behaviors and this is how I show up. And this is was a very, uh, is a very high powered woman with a very successful business. And she gets done telling her story. And I, I knew I had to be totally direct with her to gain her trust, to gain her respect. And I told her point blank, the problem is your husband is terrified of you because you are such, pardon my language, because you are such a bitch. And I didn't mean it mean, and I didn't mean it judgmentally. I was just telling it to her straight and also knowing the own experience of myself as a woman and the women that I had worked with. And her jaw dropped open and I didn't know what was gonna come out next. But she just looked at me and she said, Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I mean, well, damn. <laughs> that's that. That's that's a lot. Um, <laughs> but too afraid of your wife. It's really men out there who are too afraid to be honest with their wife, and men who are too afraid to be honest with their wife. You're not doing nobody no favors. I'm sorry. And this is why, as much as you can say therapy is important. The right therapist is important because it's so subjective to that individual. And everybody comes in with their own biases. And not to mention, when it comes to that area of health, it's such a female-dominated industry. 70% of therapists are female, 30% are males. And as much as you want to believe that the therapist that you select is going to be fair, call things down the middle, and really be there to help you, like she said, sometimes as a therapist, she could fall victim to believing women just based on the fact that the stories are so animated and so believable, so convincing. But let's get back into it. You're 100% correct. She said, I've never, ever had a therapist ever be direct with me and has always let, it, let me manipulate them. You're the first person who's called me out. So... We have to be called out women and we have to see what's really going on. And if they're a couples counselor, isn't going to do that because they're already trained to believe our story. And here's the thing that and here's, I got something you have. And here's the issue that a lot of women have. The idea that they could be the problem. The idea that the issues and the problems that she's experiencing are only there as a result of the environment that she's created. Because let's be real, whenever a woman expresses that there's a problem going on in a relationship, the first question that is asked is, what did he do? What did the man do? Anyway, guys, <laughs> check some of these comments out. They were crazy. Check them out. All right, guys. So first comment says, as a wife of almost 10 years who met a lot of other wives, this is really common. I've lost friends because they don't like to take accountability. And that's the thing with women. It's very far and few as far as those who actually are self-aware enough to understand that. This isn't the group of women I need to be hanging around because a lot of the times it's far more comfortable just to be able to stay in that nest of everybody telling each other exactly what they want to hear. Next comment reads, my family was shocked to find out my side of the divorce. I still get apologies three years later. Listen, there's one thing when it's a therapist, but your family, imagine your family not believing you. Imagine, your, imagine the people who are supposed to be in your corner turning their back on you and believe in this other person. Even though you guys were married, that's your family. And imagine that even she was able to turn them against you. And another comment reads, my friends don't ask me for marriage advice anymore because I don't instantly side with them. I have a wonderful marriage and I just try to see both. Another comment reads, my wife kept trying to get me to go to counseling. We went, she was told things she needed to change. She didn't want to go back. True. Another comment reads, Damn, sounds like my ex-wife. The first counselor told her that she was asking for another woman to take her husband so you know we didn't go back. Shake my damn head. <laughs> yeah, you know, damn, <laughs> she, ain't that, she, she ain't like that. <laughs> she didn't want to hear that. She was like, this therapist is supposed to reinforce me being right. And the last comment says, same. The therapist called her out on the first session, and she hated it after that. The counseling was her idea. <laughs> Anyway, guys, 
Drop your questions, your comments, and your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hit the like and subscribe button to support the channel. And as always, until next time.